I'M TRESPASSING! Evermore is dead. The fantasy-focused theme park in Pleasant Grove, Utah, which opened in 2018 and whose mismanagement was documented in a four-hour-long video essay by Jenny Nicholson, has defaulted and been evicted from the property. If you were from northern Utah, you've probably thought about going to Evermore at one point, but never did. If you're involved in theater in Utah in any capacity, you probably either know people or experienced for yourself the is trauma the right word? Of working there. In either case, even though as recently as four months ago the new CEO was saying things are going well, it wasn't much of a surprise that it's no longer up and running. So what's going to happen? Brandon Fugel, the owner of the land, has said he's confidently working with a new enterprise that will be unveiling exciting new plans and dramatic improvements in the weeks to come. So who's this new enterprise with these exciting new plans? Well, you're on my channel, so you probably have an idea who I think. Y'all remember Last Dragonsteel when Brandon and Emily officially announced Dragonsteel Village? But it's not really a village. This is the eventual HQ slash bookstore slash event center slash shopping district slash Sanderfan destination. Last year they said they were in the process of purchasing land, which is technically true, though they first started purchasing land back in 2022. Now how does this involve Evermore? To answer that, let's go on a field trip. They're after me, Jim. They're after me. This is the land that Dragonsteel bought in 2022. In fact, according to county records, they bought three parcels of land that year. This one. This smaller one. And this teeny tiny one. Then in 2023, they bought that one where the road goes. And then in 2024, two more right over there. And where is all this land, you ask? Right next door to Evermore. Okay, it's, uh, it's gonna rain. Time to go back. <laughs> Evermore was using part of this land as overflow parking for the last few years. We're also right across the street from what used to be The Void, another failed business venture by Evermore's founders. Though that one got more traction before COVID killed it. Also, Tracy Hickman was a part of it. Huh. And across the parking lot, there is the new Ruth Theater, so things are still happening in this area. When the park was in operation, I could totally see the appeal of setting up a fantasy-focused publishing destination close by. People going to the park would likely stop by the bookstore, and those there for Sanderson might make plans to visit the park. Mutual backscratching going on. We know Brandon was a fan of Evermore, while still cognizant of its shortcomings, as published in that one article that shall not be named. Weird. And given that every single convention sponsored by Dragonsteel in the last four years has involved some kind of live-action quest, finding mushrooms at Minicon, the hat search in 2022, collecting reality tokens last year, assembling a short story and defeating an evil wizard at the Authors in the Dungeon convention, and even something at C2E2 this year. It's obvious there's an affinity to Evermore's approach, if anything. So now, with the property next door available, infrastructure there already ready, awareness of previous weaknesses, and undoubtedly ideas of how to fix them, and a team of passionate, business-savvy fantasy enthusiasts, could the future of Evermore be Sanderland? Complete with water slide. Comment below what ride you would want in a hypothetical Sanderson theme park. While you're doing that, make sure to like and subscribe, then hit the little bell to be notified when my videos come out so you can watch them right away. If you want to watch them even earlier, consider joining my Patreon. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, and the recently upgraded Chris, and all of these other lovely folk get to watch all my videos early including the Rhythm of War Cosmere Connections videos. More are ready to be watched right now. And if you want to join in more rampant speculation about the secret real estate practices of Dragonsteel, hop on my Discord, where I'm sure we can read and find out. Admittedly, Peter Alstrom, who is Brandon's VP of Editorial, has said explicitly that it's not happening. But you can imagine what it'd be like if they did, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's fun to talk about, though. We're Cosmere nerds. Of course we're gonna theorize like crazy. The end. Bookstore slash event slen- Goodness. Event slenner? Why can't I pronounce words? Uh.